So the one I got here is a Mech Tools rechargeable soldering island iron. Uh, Mech Tools is like a sub brand of Jula. It's a, like a chain store which you find in Sweden because it's Swedish and you find Norway and also Poland. But the only thing they are doing is importing uh, Chinese products. So I would guess that you could find almost the same product like this on eBay, Amazon, probably AliExpress maybe. Uh, and also probably in your local uh, hardware store if there's bigger chains like Harbor Freight and like in the tool section at Walmart and places like that. Uh, the only thing I like about getting it from a local store is that they have to like uh, check the quality, make some inspections and that it should apply to rules or like certificates when it comes to safety and such because they have somewhat of um, some liability when selling them and uh, it's not very small but it's not too big either later i will show it compared to a regular soldering iron station it's got this rubberized grip on the other side here so it sits fairly nice in your hand it will show red when it's on and you just have to hold the button to turn it on and off or press it once to check the battery status and this one is also like your charging indicator this one here is a 18 watt, 18 watt unit uh, you find like USB ones but they are like half the wattage and my soldering station here is 48 watts so uh, that comes so uh, it depends on the thickness of wire that you need to heat up with a smaller one it will not maybe be able to or it will take a longer time but this one comes with a three-year warranty. It says that it heats up within 60 seconds. We'll test that now. So, clip or start it around. Much, but uh, now it's around uh, one minute. So when I learned to solder, I was like, you were supposed to heat up the wire first, but sometimes it's just much simpler to go for the leading tin because that heats up the wire also. But yeah, it seems to work perfectly fine on this one here after one minute. Hard to get the clean solder and get it to hold together when I'm just using one hand, but we can see that after one minute, uh, it wasn't really fast enough for me just holding it on the wire and then having the tin melt onto it. But touching the sold or the tin thing itself, it was inadequate to. And the tip on this one here is changeable. You just unscrew it with your hands uh, it's like threaded on the top there so but it isn't hot now so i can't do that so i wouldn't say that i'm an expert at soldering but over the past years I have soldered a few times every week and this I have used now for maybe two years. I just had to burn out some plastic. So the tip here is not cleaned, but this unit here is a 48 watt uh, system. Uh, it's actually made by the same manufacturers or the company at least behind this old one. And this is 48 volts and you can see the difference. I thought the rechargeable one would be much larger, uh, but it's not small, but uh, yeah, it's not too large either. So it feels fairly comfortable and 
and what I like about it compared to like this regular one if I put this down on a table it will always like touch with the tip so with this one you really want to have a stand and um, but with this one it won't touch the surface which is perfect when it's so you don't need to have like a stand when you are just holding outside one hundred and fifty eight grams and sixty two sixty grams for the, just the soldering iron on this one without the station so it's heavier but it's not too heavy using two 18650 batteries which is a widely used cell and there doesn't seem to be any branding on it but they have like put it into this longer thing here stacking them on top of each other and these cells are like used in cars uh, uh, rechargeable uh, laptops laptop batteries of course flashlights uh, those vapors people use so really widely used cells using a lot of tools of course and they have the logic board small LED here charging port is back here and yeah and the coil itself is just taking battery power and making heat out of it so you want fairly much battery power to be running something like this because it's just making heat so it can't really be uh, effective at what it's doing so you just need a lot of battery power or electricity so when looking more international on Amazon, for example, I couldn't find a small that looked exactly like this one. Uh, I think these kinds of soldering irons maybe are somewhat new to the market. There were a lot of like battery ones with double A batteries, but I think a rechargeable one like this one with the 18650 lithium cells would work much better. But uh, Weller, I think they have uh, one which seems to got the same uh, specification and also like the overall design with this lip here so the tip won't touch and you unscrew the soldering tip uh, just by hand on the end here uh, but with that one you also get like more of a station that you put the hole into to charge it and that is around fifty dollars this one was thirty five dollars here locally and if you're already maybe invested into the smaller tool sites from Milwaukee, they also have a similar model like this. Uh, though the heat up time is faster on that one and you can take out the battery on that one. So it's like interchangeable with all of your other tools. So yeah, there's are a lot of options, but even the cheaper ones work. But if you are invested like in the Milwaukee brand and have other tools with the same batteries, I think that is a smart decision. And if you were to use it maybe every day or a few times a week more professionally, something like that would also maybe work better. But yeah.